Hello! Hey! Welcome back into another episode of the Film Cave. Finally! Into a new <laughs> Finally, Film Cave. we're back! We moved into a new Film Cave, which is yes. nicer and cooler and bigger. Yeah, it's and great. More spacious. More spacious. It's, uh, it's good to see you, buddy. Yeah. I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the Film Cave. Yeah, I know. Uh, so we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, we're going to be doing a uh, summer of movies that are ramping down, <laughs> ramping well, they're down? already ramped down, yeah. and how the fall movies are ramping up, and uh, what right. was our favorite this summer, and what we're looking forward to this fall. Yeah, so Here much to talk about, let's talk. just do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Steve, and that's Casey, this is the Film Game, let's do this. Yes. <clears throat> just start by saying I didn't see very many <laughs> I didn't see very many summer movies anyways oh no it's that's fine so we both saw Captain America Civil War yes. obviously and that was a great that was good. awesome yeah that was a doing. fun one great one to start the summer right and I mean Marvel did it again just keep adding more and more they characters and they blend them all together and it was a good you know it was a good storyline right. I guess it was a nice connection with with Anthony Mackie and bringing right Ant-Man Ant back in like through him and because right. Anthony Mackie cameoed in Ant Man and mm -hmm. all that stuff. So yeah, cool. that's fun. Yeah, well, and then I I saw Neighbors too. I saw Neighbors too. That was yep. you know good one good one for a laugh. It was a good. It was and pretty then, basic. What about Angry Birds that came out? That Angry time. Birds. Yeah, I, I saw still that. have not seen that. It was really funny. It was a lot funnier than I thought it was going to be. And then uh, Popstar. No. Nope. Saw that. Yeah. It was it was just a like high school it, raunchy it, <laughs> movie. Yeah. What you expect, and then uh, X Men Apocalypse. That was good. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> was it? Was it? I know this. I, I guess as far as box office wise, summer movies, it was it was a bit of a disappointment. Yeah. I mean, we had a record year last year, so it's hard to top that. It was okay. It wasn't great. Mm. I feel like they waited a little too long. People kind of forgotten about it, and then it started coming back. But it was just with the summer of of just lots and lots of amazing other movies. It felt like it, people were excited about it, but it, I don't know. It just it wasn't as excited about it as I have been in the past. And now you see me too. Seen that? Is, okay. Even though I've seen the first so, one. I mean, typical summer block uh, blockbuster movies that are sequels mm -hmm. or spinoffs or different stuff like that. So yeah. I didn't see the first one. Oh, you haven't seen the first but one? But I liked the second one. It was alright. It was good. Oh, nice. Was good. And I also saw Central Intelligence. No. Yeah. I want to see that. It I definitely was want to rent it. Dumb. Oh. It's like funny, it's but. Times. It it didn't really it didn't really do it for me. It was it was a little too stupid. Ah, <laughs> Finding Dory. Saw that. Oh yeah, I saw Finding Dory. That was, that was great. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah, that with, was really uh, good. My girls, so that was fun. Yeah, I saw it with my sister, and it just reminded me of my daughter, who's almost ten months old now. But right. little little baby Dory just <laughs> just killed me. Oh. It was a good sequel. Yeah. To Finding Nemo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Finding Nemo. And then uh, oh, oh yeah, Independence Day. Dose came out. <laughs> Res yeah. Res 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 Resurgence. Oh, Resurgence. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That was okay. Yeah, see, it's just like, I don't know. Did some of these movies just were like, eh, seems okay. I think a few of these are just ever. coming out a tad bit too long. Like, yeah. in between. There's oh, just right. too much oh, gap. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think, I think what they were trying to do, too, with that is that they were trying to make it, because it was so it was so far behind, they tried to make it its own with the new generation of people. Right. With the same concept. Right, right. Yeah. So they're trying to bring in the Which people from like the popular. first one. Try to bring. They tried to bring in the people from the first one to come back to see that one, and then like the new, you know, well, newer, look at Star generation. Wars. Right. Right. I mean, that's just bring sort of the in. whole uh, reboot concept. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's like there's a lot. There's a dash of like all that original stuff to mm -hmm. bring to bring back that classic audience. Right. You know, that grew up watching Star Wars or mm -hmm. Independence Day. Mm -hmm. Independence Day is twenty years old now. It's like right. that's crazy. And then I saw The Shallows. Short movie. Good. It yeah. was awesome. Blake Lively. She did a good job. Low budget. Type right. Thing under the radar, and then yeah, and like you can tell, surprised like they, you me. know, they shot. It wasn't like a big, you know, big shoot. It didn't cost yeah. a lot of money to shoot it, and but she did a really good job. I mean, by herself, basically the most the whole time. Nice. And then uh, Legend of Tarzan. I saw that. Legend of Tarzan. You liked that one? I did. Yeah, yeah. Christoph Waltz. Yeah. Oh my god, he was yeah. the best part. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was it was good. I liked it a lot. And First but, weekend box office, which I think a lot of people think that only that's the only thing right. that matters. That's true. Like it didn't finish number one, but so then it's slowly, 
It I just sort of, of stayed. Around, yeah. yeah, word of mouth was pretty positive on. after yeah. people saw it, and it gradually it started making a little bit more money, and then yeah. it would bump up, you know, from four in the to the top ten grossing of the week to uh-huh. two, you know, yeah. and, and it, like it just kept, just kept nice a nice pace. Mm-hmm. So word of mouth was good. Sweet. Okay, and then I saw the Secret Life of Pets oh. with the kids. Yeah, that was a fun a good one. one. I liked it. Funny, that was a huge summer hit. Yeah, that was good. And it, it, we'll have more it. of those it did movies. Well. And then the movie that came out on my birthday, <gasps> Ghostbusters. The birthday. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That was awesome. Uh, that was the one that I was really disappointed. Probably the most disappointed that I didn't see it. Yeah, we'll talk about one. that at the end. Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry, I'm jumping. You are jumping. <laughs> I'm so ashamed of myself. I didn't support it. They had cameos from all the old. Yet. Right, they had cameos from all the old guys that are alive still. Nice. And that was funny to see them. Even uh, um, Bill Murray had like a, a pretty, I mean, a, a significant role part. compared to all the other guys who just kind of did a quick cameo or whatever. Yeah. He had a pretty significant I heard part. Harold Ramis' son is even in it. Uh-huh. A real quick nod to Oh yeah. Egon or something like that. It was a good one. But yeah. I liked it a lot. I it was great and I'm nice. excited to see another one when they do it. That's awesome. If they do it. Yeah. Oh, they will. And then I got to see Star Trek Beyond recently. Nice. I loved yeah. it. A lot better than the second one. Very suspenseful, and the music nice. and everything was great. Good job, good. I'm Justin. Glad that was Lin. good. Now nice. on the Space Jam, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Suicide Squad came out. Yeah. Uh, early. Now we're, now we're on August. some stuff that I saw. Right. Yeah, it's like the first weekend of August. Did did really well at the box office. Yes. And People were very divisive about this movie one. of you know of course being DC and. But the th- there's like, lots of problems with it going along with that. I mean the the misuse of Joker and the uh, I mean the best part was Harley Quinn wrote Margot Robbie Margot just Robbie. killed that character. Yeah. She did a good job. Uh, she was great. Know, Will Smith was really good. He was um, good, but I think because I think the 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 the. the they focus too much on his character as a whole, and um, there was some talk, you know, of, of other characters getting a lot more screen time or this or that. And then when Will Smith signed on, they were like, "Okay, we got to focus on him because he's a big movie star, mm. a list actor, and we need to do this and I that." And throw in more Deadshot right lines, and there was a lot. So I mean, the story was kind of focused around him, I think. Yeah. And um, where it should have kind of, and there was no origin stories. Like he got his own maybe little origin right, story kind right. of. And Diablo did a little bit too. Yeah, but, which he was totally. Awesome. Yeah, I liked him a lot too. But his um, like the redemption story of him, of him at the end, like saving everybody, mm-hmm. I think felt a little bit false. It like, did, and, uh, and it should have been he, dead. Uh, yeah. Dead shot, or you know, somebody that they invested so much time in. Right, and then there was like that other backstory. guy, the uh, oh, what was his name? The other guy who like died immediately. Oh yeah, <laughs> they brought him in the last second. Slipknot. Here's this guy who like, okay, great. They get on the helicopter. They get off the helicopter, and then he died. Yeah. And it was like, why like, did you even Adam waste Beach. your time? Like, well, he had shot a lot more. That's what I mean. Than that, and then it was just totally wasted. As like, it's because you know you know about the implants in their heads, so. We have, to, we have to show that somebody's gonna die right. from mounting off, so, or you know, just like it was. So he was so misused and not. Yeah. It wasn't even necessary. So I feel like, like I said, it goes along with the whole. They had a lot of problems with it because the editing they cut out too much stuff, and a lot of people were angry about it, especially Jared Leto. Right. Uh, anyways, uh, on to the last one that I felt that I saw of the summer movies was Pete's Dragon. Nice. I like that. It was good. Um, Peach made Dragon. Me tear up a little bit at the end. You saw a lot. Yeah. That's great. Lots of driving movies great. with the kids. I got, it got oh, me yeah. out a lot more. That's... What is and going then on there? to wrap up, huh? um, there were actually three movies at the tail end, like kind of around Pete's Dragon, that I would consider even in, like my favorite movies of the whole year. Okay. Uh, Kubo and the Two Strings. Right. It was great. It was incredible. Mm-hmm. Bad Moms. Oh, yeah. Absolutely hilarious. And then uh, Hell or High Water oh, snuck yeah. in there. So I didn't see any and of those ones. It was, it's, <laughs> it's now the, it's the highest grossing independent movie this year. Awesome. So far. So it, it, it sounds like it deserves it. From The Witch. And it's really, really good. Really well done. So, yeah. So the movies that yeah. I missed, well, like all the movies, the movies that I oh, missed. Oh, and The Nice Guys. I'm sorry. That's the Nice what, Guys. That yeah. Okay. That so the, is hilariously funny. It's yeah, fantastic. I missed that one too. So you saw all the ones that I missed. <laughs> <laughs> See, we did. We covered each other a little right. bit. So, yeah, the ones, did a good job. Uh, so the ones that I missed, I'll just list, there's only a few. The ones that I missed um, that I wish I would have seen was Nice Guys, Kubo, 
and the infiltrator. That was good. I saw. I wish. I wish I could have seen that. Yeah. I think the just... one I'm disappointed in the most I didn't see was Kubo though. Kubo. I, I really wanted oh, to see that. Incredibly well done. Yeah. Really well done. Such a good movie. So. Leica coming on strong. The ones that I wish that I wonderful stop motion animation. I don't know. My probably my favorite 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 one of the summer is either Ghostbusters, Shallows, nice. or Captain America. Cool. Three go yeah. tos Good, good. Yep. That's awesome. So it's uh, now that the summer movies are over. Yeah. And the fall movies. And I are just want to say, like, no. I mean, no. It was an okay summer, mm-hmm. but I my my goal is to try and. I'm I'm trying not to go with as much like critic feedback. It's hard in this day and age because there's you know everyone is a critic and there's so many reviews of everything. Yeah, these I don't. Days. Yeah, I don't read and a lot like, of reviews anyway. But yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying for me, I do read oh, a lot okay. of reviews, or mm-hmm. I you know if it if it sort of gets panned from critics, mm-hmm. I tend not to see it. Oh, okay. And I don't want to do that. Yeah. Like I want to try and just keep an open mind for everything and go and enjoy. If it's a if it's a summer movie that you're just meant to go and enjoy, like great. Let's just go do it and have fun. Like, right. So that's just I'm just saying to you, our audience, and to you, buddy, you know, like that's what I'm gonna try and work on. And yeah, just I, less I, like I, yeah. less critical opinion. Like it doesn't it doesn't matter. Like we can right. still go and enjoy the movie. Right. Be, and you know because that's what it's there for just have some popcorn and some soda and enjoy a kick-ass movie right so that's what i was going to say is is my what i've said a lot is i don't like to read like critics reviews because they're there because they have to see it not because they want to see it necessarily right so if you have to go see a movie you're not going to you're not going to go into it with the best um attitude so then, if it's not as good as you were thinking, or that you something not a movie that you want to see that day, then yeah. you're not going to review it very well. I feel like, and so right, right. what I like to do is on Rotten Tomatoes they have like user reviews, which are people mm-hmm. who actually wanted to go see it and then tell you what they thought. That has a little bit more weight to me than the actual critics. There you go. But yeah, I like that. That's where I go. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, yeah. I had to th- just throw that in there. You're good. So then, uh, now that the fall movies are ramping up, we're gonna yeah. go over them real quick to see which ones are coming out this fall, and now uh, we can talk about it. Talk a about bit. it. Okay. So-